Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is part of a series of art talk videos. Uh, my art journey. Um, they're going to be in four parts. So this is part one, which will take you through from the 2015 to 2017. Um, and the rest will follow on. I'm not sure whether they will be weekly. I do, as I do publish my videos on a weekly basis, usually on a Thursday or Friday. Um, so before we get into the video, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So let's get started. So one of the things I was going to pose a question to you is, have you been procrastinating? <laughs> um, by that I mean on getting started with your art journey. Um, it is something that people, you know, often say to me, how did you get started? You know, what was it that, you know, prompted you and what were, where were you? And, you know, they, they want to know. Um, because I, I surprised quite a lot of my friends by, I didn't tell them I was embarked upon this new project. Um, but when I got involved in it, which I'll, you'll hear about over the next few videos, I sent them images, you know, I sent them pictures of my art and they was they was very surprised, you know. So I think I surprised a lot of people, including me, um, that I could draw. And it wasn't something I knew I could do, but I, it was definitely something that I was curious about, put it that way. And because I come from a kind of creative background, you know, of creative writing, poetry, essays, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll f you can find out more about that in my uh, writing blog, which, are, which, is, which is linked below. Um, I've also learned how to play the piano. I'm quite, I am creative. And that, you know, but, that, but in this particular video, it's about art. So what was it and why? Mm. Uh, sometimes I do wonder about whether you know what, what I was thinking about, what, but I was certainly thinking about it, and no, I didn't want to keep thinking about it. I thought, yeah, let me just get on with doing something about it. And so, by the end of this video, I hope to encourage you out there to get started with your art journey, because it's so joyful. This art journey, it has its ups and downs like any other journey, but the ups are really good. <laughs> That's all I can say. When you, if you, if you think you can draw. And, or you or you're curious don't stay you know just pursue it and, and find out basically and give it six months because that's the sort of period of time I think you need to to discover where you want to go with your journey what what you want to, how you want to work what kind of art you want to make all of that is not something that comes up straight you don't know that at the beginning well that's, I didn't I knew that I wanted to do certain drawings but where they ended up that I wouldn't have really dreamed they would have ended up where they are which is abstract art so right let's get into this journey um so it was 2015 like I said it was a hot sunny day it was the 30th of June and I'd found out about the fellowship of professional and amateur artists um in, in an area near to where I lived and the, the artist John Frederick Black ran painting sessions in his studio shed, which was adjacent to his house in Rushton, which is about 20 minutes drive from where I live in Northamptonshire. So on that hot sunny day, I decided to do something about it. Um, and I didn't have any idea about what I was going to do, how it was going to, you know, I just clueless basically, other than I took a reference image of me is a photograph of me in Tenerife sitting on this amazing I don't know how many hundreds of years old banyan tree um, taken in 1988 and I'd written a poem about that tree called still a tree um, just previously because I you know my writing continues it's not something that's just stopped um, and it made me think let me take that picture along and it was in my consciousness, so that's what I did. And when I got there, John was so generous, he gave me some colour pencils and an A5 size sketchbook, 
because and I said I was gonna you know you use this image and he said yeah fine go flow go with you know go with the flow and it was very encouraging it was very interesting uh, how I started I did feel I did feel I suppose uncomfortable for about half an hour because I wasn't sure what to do I mean he guided me he did you know he did at some point he left but he left me alone at the beginning and I think that was quite cool and then I got into it and then after a half an hour the time flew and by the time the two hours had gone I'd got I'd finished this drawing and, and you'll see that drawing at the end of this video <laughs> yeah um, it's not look don't get too excited it is very well I call it a very simplistic drawing when I look back on it I think oh that's what I did then I don't do that now but it, you know it's it's very um, inspiring to, to know that that was the first piece that I did and I've stuck it in my one of my sketchbooks and one of well, the first sketchbooks so it's there it's got a sense of um, meaning to me and hopefully it will give you some kind of I don't know inspiration to get started because you don't look the thing is not to expect great things at the beginning and to be quite realistic about the fact that well if you've not done anything like this before um, you, it's something it's a bit like trying to run a marathon when you haven't done all the all the training you can't expect great things so yeah the, the learning and the the inspiration and, and the, the practice and all of those things will come after that um, hopefully so yeah so that year that was what happened in 2016 sorry in 2015 in September I became unwell which put a spanner in the works on many things and I was unable to continue so I didn't go to any more session, painting sessions uh, not till the following year really and I don't really think I went to many um, and in 2016 because of that illness I wanted to it kind of prompted me to get my autobiography written i had been thinking about that for some time as well so I went back into the writing zone and did get that book written and it was published at the beginning of 2017 it's available on Amazon just to plug it out there it's called Born Between the Lines and yeah it's it's something I wanted to do and I'm pleased I've done that and, it, and then it got to be 2017 and then it was April before I got back into art again and I made more colour pencil drawings I started to make mixed media collages and I carried on sketching most mornings I did I would do that it was a little bit like I was getting into a an art practice I think that's really important that you you get somehow you you find your way into a practice you've got to do the practice you've got to do the work and um, that's where I'm going to leave this video there's more to come and hopefully next week I will you will you know be able to tune in and find out what happens next um, the conclusion I'm going to make in this video is there's never really a right time I mean there might be if you're going to study or you know you'd know it would start a particular academic year and things like that and you would gear up to that but that wasn't what I wanted to do um, I wanted to do my own thing formally being formally trained means if you're going to be studying fine arts you would have to do all kinds of things you know pottery sculpt all things that you yeah great that's a great foundation and I think it's particularly good if you're young to do the whole shenanigans but I didn't that's not what the way I wanted to make my art I wanted to be free to do my thing um, so I hope you will stop procrastinating if you are and get started on your art journey enjoy the journey it's a really cool journey once you get past a few of those um, barriers to learning and and you and once you know that you basically what's the worst that can happen <laughs> but, but anyway on that note here's going you're going to see my first piece of artwork and thank you for watching and uh, remember to subscribe and like and share hopefully if you like it this video uh, stay safe bye for now bye